Every race, every journey, every new path forward begins at a starting line. On the grass, the pavement, in the sky. Sometimes it's a line that can't be seen. One that separates then from now and changes the game forever. Because progress isn't about being the first across the finish line. It's about being first to the next starting line. And the next one. And the next. Even if we have to paint that line ourselves. And that's exactly what we're doing. Good evening, and welcome to the 2022 TaylorMade Philippine Virtual Product Launch. I'm Eric, and I'm your host for tonight. Thank you everyone for joining us this evening for another virtual event, as we are excited to present the 2022 product lineup from TaylorMade Golf. Now don't go anywhere, we will be giving away special prizes to lucky attendees, including, as always, a brand new 2022 TaylorMade driver. Now let the program begin. For 20 years, titanium has been the standard, the best, the only. But being beyond driven means constantly trying to push past what is to get to what could be. So we went beyond conventional thinking and discovered something new, something amazing, something carbon. We told you that we were gonna leave the old race behind and kick off an entirely new one. Well, that race begins now. On your marks, get set. Welcome to the age of the carbon wood. Titanium has been the cornerstone of driver technology for the last 20 years. But even at the beginning of the titanium driver era, TaylorMade engineers knew that every material had its limit. The future of driver performance begins with the one of one 60X carbon twist face, comprised of 60 layers of carbon sheets strategically arranged to optimize energy transfer. Over two decades of research and development, TaylorMade pushed the boundaries and now created a new era of driver technology with 60X carbon twist face drivers. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 2022 Stealth Driver. Welcome to the carbon wood age. Introducing the 2022 Stealth Driver Liner Stealth Plus Stealth Stealth HD and Stealth Wimps To tell us more about this revolutionary technology please welcome Head of Carbon Wood and Metal Wood Product Creation Mr. Tomo Weisted so guys, there you have it, Stealth, the carbon wood age begins. This is a new era for TaylorMade, new era of performance, an incredible looking and incredible performing golf club. Let's take a closer look at it. You might have seen a sneak peek of this face earlier. Here it is again, and like you thought, it is a red colored face. Incredible technology behind this, but this is really gonna be the calling card for the new era of products from TaylorMade, the new carbon wood age. Take a look at that face, that's got that 
incredible red color with that pattern inside it that really delivers an incredible look. And there's so much more inside it, and I'll go through that here in a second. And let me walk you through it uh, with you a little bit as well. So here is the sole of the club. Obviously, a new feature that you're going to notice here versus 2021 is that the sliding weight track is back. It's a longer track now. It has that 10 gram sliding weight in there, uh, but an incredibly beautiful finish on the sole. Black PVD uh, with these silver highlights on the back. There is a call out for carbon wood as well on the sole there. Obviously, we want to highlight, make sure that people understand that this is a carbon wood now. It's a part of the new era of golf products. Speed pocket in there as well. Twist face still in the product as well and FCT. But this club, more than anything else, is a work of beauty. It's a work of engineering. And I think when you see it in person, it is going to hopefully, hopefully blow you away. But I also want to take you to the top of the club. This is where things look quite a lot different. Obviously, on the bottom of the club, a lot is going on. There's a lot of technologies that you're going to see there. We want to keep the top extremely simple. We even have an extremely subtle stealth logo here on the heel. But most importantly, the crown is this black satin carbon. It's a much darker black than we've used in the past to really make that transition to the top line very tonal. So that black gloss paint on the front here is going to give you that seamless transition and really bring your eye to the front of the club, focusing on the face, focusing on that red top line. And that's really the part of the club that's going to give you that help with alignment as well. So a really cool, simple, clean, elegant, modern look that I think a lot of golfers are going to fall in love with. Now, this lineup of Stealth drivers do come in three different flavors. The one that you just saw there was the Stealth Plus driver. Now, the Stealth Plus is our flagship product. It has all the technology, and it does have the sliding weight track. And as you move across to the center here, you see the Stealth driver. Now, the Stealth driver is going to be your driver that's going to be for the most golfers out there. It's going to offer an incredible range of performance, still going to be low spin, but very forgiving, high MOI on this club big face, all those things that you expect from an easy to play product for a lot of golfers. On the HD side, that's gonna be our high draw product. That's what that naming stands for. And the high draw driver is gonna give you that high trajectory, a touch more spin, um, but still offering all the same technologies that you see in Stealth will be in Stealth HD as well. Incredible MOI, we've actually shifted that inertia generator a little bit more to the heel in that product uh, to create that draw bias without sacrificing any MOI. So really very forgiving. Uh, coupled with, again, that high draw performance. So you may ask yourself, why is the face carbon, right? Why is it carbon? You've seen carbon on the crown of the club. You've even seen sole panels at times. But why is carbon on the face of the club? And if it's on the face of the club, why now? Why not 10 years ago? Why not 20 years ago? Why is it happening right now? Well, obviously, you guys all know carbon is lighter and stronger. That's the common theme. We always talk about it with the crown. It is a lighter and stronger material but it's not ne necessarily designed for every application, right? If you go to the hardware store, you're buying a hammer, you're not buying a carbon hammer, right? We have determined that hammering and nails is not the optimal use of carbon fiber. Just as in the airplane industry or in the space industry, obviously these uh, industries are using carbon, but in certain applications where they wanna make things surfaces lighter and stronger, but not necessarily in places where there's impact potential, right? So, at TaylorMade, we had to figure out how to use carbon in this way and what benefits, therefore, it could bring. So there are challenges with carbon. We have overcome those challenges, and that's really the story behind what the carbon wood age is bringing up. So how does it actually made? What goes into the making of the face? Why did it take 20 years to figure this out? Well, let's take a deeper look into the construction of the face. The first thing you need to know, the very first thing you need to know, is that it's 60 layers of carbon. Now, to put that in context, on the crown of the driver, we have six layers of carbon. That was what we've had in SIM and SIM 2 as well. And even in the sole plate of SIM 2, where we had to withstand a lot of impact, it had to be very strong, that was nine layers of carbon. This has 60 layers in total. And this is sort of what it looks like. This is a simple represent representation of it, but you can see that each layer is at a different orientation, and we actually have different types of layers mixed in there as well. And these different ones where you see these little strips coming in is where we're actually creating that inverted cone technology in the face, a slightly thicker section behind the middle of the club to spread that COR as wide as possible. But that incredible layup of those 60 layers of carbon is, is topped off with a scrim layer at the top that has that print on it. And then we have a PU layer on top of that as well, which again, we talked about that earlier. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the spin benefits of that PU layer in addition to the protective qualities it has on the face in, in total. 
So talking about that PU cover and really dialing in this piece of the puzzle uh, was honestly one of the keys in making this a reality. We knew that with bare carbon fiber, if you just had a carbon face, you put those 60 layers together and you use that as your hitting surface, it was gonna spin too much. It was gonna be a high spin driver. And if it got wet, it would have extremely low spin. So this became an unplayable product. It was actually gonna have 2000 RPMs less spin on the driver in the wet, which essentially means the ball falls out of the air immediately. And so this is a completely unplayable setup. And so we knew that early on. And really those middle years of us working on this, we figured out we needed grooves on the face. Now the grooves on the face help in the sense that we do get good spin here uh, and we get decent dry spin uh, as well. The wet spin gets kind of um, into the zone that you wanna be. Dry spin's still a little high. So there's, there's an element of interaction between the face and the ball that still causes too high spin with just regular grooves. So that third phase of where we've landed, and this is the recent development that we really um, enabled us to, again to get over that edge to really make sure that we're delivering performance and unlocking the full performance of a carbon face is this nano texture. This texture in the face is so fine that we cannot, cannot create it with a traditional CNC machine. In fact, in order to create this texture that's so fine, we actually had to bring in the engineers that built the CNC machine to dial it in to create this very, very fine texture. Therefore, these tools that we use to make this face with, we actually have to ship those tools from Carlsbad where they're machined to our factories over in Asia. And that's how we create, create this incredible performing golf club overall. And again, this is a very key part of the overall recipe of the new carbon wood age. Okay, let's move on to the face material itself and the weight savings. Now the weight savings may seem obvious and I could have gone there at the beginning, but obviously the difference between a face made of titanium and the face made of carbon is significant. 43 grams for the titanium face, 24 grams for that equivalently sized carbon face is a 44% savings in weight. Now that delivers a lot of different things, but the most important thing is we're actually enabling the club to deliver a more efficient collision. I'm gonna talk about what that's gonna do later on, more efficient energy transfer. That lighter face allows that trampoline effect to work more effectively. It also saves uh, 20 grams in terms of being able to reposition mass in the head as well. So this is weight, some of it that's high up in the club, we can reposition that throughout the club to create the mass properties in the club that we want for optimal launch conditions and for optimal forgiveness. But let's take a step back and look at that better energy transfer. Now, these bars here you can see represent sort of the evolution of the drivers over the years. And I know you think when you remember the M3 to the M5, and certainly from M5 to Sim, you guys will all remember that feeling of how much faster the Sim Club felt than the M5. And that is represented here when you average all our test data out with only a 0.1 increase overall. And so that puts you in, in context what an increase like the Stealth Plus is bringing with that 1.3 mile an hour gain. Think about that. This is actually 13 times bigger gain than what you saw from M5 to Sim. And so that's gonna, in practice, I mean, the 1.3 miles is huge in testing, but in practice, when you get into a fitting situation or a demo situation with a player, you're gonna see two, three, four, five miles an hour ball speed increases for sure. And so I think this is an incredible sort of point to make about this club is that that carbon face is unlocking this incredible speed in the face that coupled with those launch conditions we talked about with that nano texture is gonna make an incredibly long driver. So with that, obviously with the speed we're getting, we also wanna make sure that we're delivering forgiveness to the player. And in case of stealth, that comes through the size of the face. Now, building the face out of carbon has advantages in terms of weight in that we can make a bigger face without the big penalty of that extra weight being in the face. And so we've taken that face all the way from Sim to Sim 2, Sim 2 Max, 20% larger than Sim now. So think about that in terms of the face size, and we've, we're showing an outline here, it's a significantly larger face than even Sim 2. If I put Sim on here, it would be an even smaller outline. And that's really incredible in terms of, again, that confidence the player is gonna feel on the tee box with that larger face, regardless of where you hit it. Now with a larger face, you may think, well, we're sacrificing on aerodynamics. It's not gonna be a slippery through the air, but that is not the case. We've continued to refine our recipe of that shape and motion technology, that aerodynamic quality that this club has with that asymmetric inertia generator 
uh, we're actually able to eke out slightly more aerodynamic reform performance even with that larger face. And so that's really a key element in terms of moving the performance forward on this club, not only through incredible ball speed, not only through incredible launch conditions, but also you're going to be able to swing it as fast or even faster than you have with these other incredible products like Sim and Sim 2. So the last thing that we, we, we want to talk about here is really the sound and feel of the club. And it's such an important quality, I think, to many golfers, especially that first initial experience when you first hit the ball. Before you look at any launch monitor data, before you look at any, even the ball flight, you hear the crack of the club and how it sounds with the ball coming off the face. And so we knew that, that having that quality be good is extremely important. And I think there's also going to be a little skepticism from golfers in general about potentially hitting a carbon face and how that's going to sound. So we wanted to make sure that we overperformed, we overachieved with sound and feel in this club. And based on our sentiment ratings from our player testers, we can see here that we've outperformed clubs that sound incredibly good. The Sim and the Sim 2, we've actually outperformed them in terms of the average sentiment from our testers. People actually think they feel even better. And not just testers in our testing panel, but also the best players in the world. So we've had the opportunity to test this product with Colin Morikawa, Tommy Fleetwood, Sergio Garcia. They've all been in and tested this product, and they've all raved about the sound and feel of this club. They've all said how solid it sounds, how crisp it sounds, and oddly enough, how metallic the collision sounds. And I think that's something that people are gonna walk away with this from when they first hit it of how amazing it sounds. And then they're gonna be shocked again when they see the launch monitor, but certainly the sound and feel is something that we're really proud of in this club and how well it performs in that regard. So just to recap all the main benefits, making sure that when you, what you take away from today uh, really focuses on some of the key things. First of all, the carbon phase. There's so much to it. There's so much engineering behind it. But ultimately, it gives you that better energy transfer equaling more ball speed. We saw that massive jump up from the Sim products. It also allows you to create a larger face. And again, that's going to be more consistent for the golfer, more forgiving. It's going to inspire more confidence with the player as well. The third point here is providing better launch and spin. Now, we saw that with that nano texture in the face and how we were able to dial in both the dry and wet spin. So great launch conditions in all weather conditions. And then finally, incredible sound and feel. We call it precision tuned acoustics. Uh, that's really something that our team has worked so hard on. There's a whole team of engineers who are dedicated to making these clubs feel and sound incredible. And that's really the whole package of what Stealth brings. Now, to bring it back to the lineup, want to go through a couple of key details. Obviously, everything here um, that you see, in terms of the differences in launch and spin, we get a lot of questions about that. Your Stealth Plus is going to be your mid-launch and your lowest spinning option in this lineup. Moving on to the Stealth, that's going to be a higher launch, still low spin, but a little bit more spin than in the Stealth Plus, probably two to 300 RPMs more spin. In the HD, we're going to add that draw bias into the club. Spin's going to be pretty similar, maybe a touch higher, but basically what that's going to do is going to give you draw bias uh, with an easy up trajectory. It's going to offer a little bit more loft on the club for, again, for people to launch that club a little bit more easily. The other interesting thing here is what we've done, which I think is really, really cool, is we've added a ladies cosmetic, a women's specific cosmetic for the Stealth HD. Now, um, we've kind of kept the traditional element of the face the same. Again, that calling card of that red face is the same, but a lot of the touches on the sole here are different. We've actually added a silver, this bright silver PVD. It's a very clean, very elegant looking sole plate. We've actually added a slightly a, a lighter paint color as well, so not the black paint that you'll see on the men's product, but a slightly lighter charcoal type color, still with that satin crown in there as well. And the women's is gonna be available in that 10.5 and 12 degree offering there. The Stealth HD women's offering is going to be available throughout the family of HD Metalwoods. 20 years ago, titanium was all the rage. But even then, we knew that you can only get so much great out of something before it reaches its limit. Knowing that the limitations of titanium would eventually be upon us, we started pushing the boundaries even further to get to better. Leaving the old race behind and starting a completely new one. A race that drives beyond the here and now to raise the bar for what's possible. Now is this for me to like see what it is or like this is what it could oh, that's, it. that's it. This is it. Yep. Holy oh. shit. On your marks, get set. 20 years in the making, the limits of titanium have been broken. Welcome to the Carbon Age.
next in our lineup are the all-new Stealth Fairway ones. Keeping with carbon as the prevailing design thread across the entire Stealth product line, this year's Fairway Woods are packed with new technology. With the use of advanced multi-material construction, tailor-made engineers continually push the boundaries of faster ball speeds, high MOI performance, and precision playability. This year's lineup is made up of Stealth Plus, Stealth, and Stealth Women. Here again is Tomo to tell us more about it. The Fairroad products obviously are stepping in now to the next era as well. We're adding a lot of new technologies here that are gonna move these incredible products even further forward in the industry. Okay, so we're gonna start by talking about the Fairway lineup in the Stealth family. So the Stealth Plus over here is gonna be your tie Fairway at the 175 cc. This is gonna build on an incredible technology that you've seen with both SIM and SIM2 tie Fairway woods. It's gonna have that tie body with the 80 gram steel sole plate uh, but with some new technology under the hood. We're gonna to get to that later on. Uh, again, building on incredible low spin, high launch technology, offering more forgiveness now than we've had ever before with the Thai fairway wood. In the Stealth steel fairways, uh, it's a 190cc, so still keeping that bigger profile, uh, slightly reshaped, but with some really exciting new technologies on the crown of that club. So let's dive a little deeper into the steel fairway technologies. So we're gonna start off with talking about carbon and how we're adding another dimension to this club. Obviously, this club comes at the tail of many successful fairwoods in that steel franchise from TaylorMade with M2, M4, M6, and then we had Sim and Sim2 Max. These clubs have been incredible in terms of performance. We've added new technologies, made those clubs more forgiving over, over time. But now was the time to really add another dimension to what we're doing and really change some of the technology platform that's been so trusted over the years. So let's take a deeper look into the new 3D carbon crown. Now, this is the first time that we've taken carbon from the crown and wrapped it on to the side of the club here. So onto the skirt side here, we've added this uh, carbon feature. And really when you think about it, what we're doing is we're releasing a lot of trapped mass. This mass that's up there, kind of high in the toe, not really helping us from uh, an inertia or a CG standpoint. We're able to release that mass take it away and actually reposition it low in the club and back in the club. Again, creating a more forgiveness without making that club bigger or making it unwieldy in any way. So the other technology that we're gonna talk about too that's brand new for this is the advanced laser alignment. Now, as we've moved into this very clean crown cosmetic with black on black, the satin hitting off of the gloss, we wanted to give the golfer a very clean, elegant view at a dress but not without an ability to line it up. Just like a putter, a sight line can help you make sure you're squared off to the target, it gives you that confidence to swing away. And we've added this lasered top line. So what we do is we laser away some of that PVD finish at the top to create this bright silver line that comes across. And you can see that on the face on view as well. And really it's there to make, again, to give that player confidence while retaining that clean and elegant look that the Stealth family will be known for. So on the Thai fairway wood side, we've got some exciting new changes to that sole plate as well. That sole plate in the past has been there to create that low CG and it's been pretty much centered in the middle of the sole. And with it being so dense and having so much weight, we figured why don't we spread it out to the locations in the sole where we can create more inertia. So we've taken that sole weight and taken that mass from the middle, put it in the toe and put it in the heel and put some in the back as well. So we're really isolating the weights away from the middle of the club where it's not adding to inertia and really built on the MOI in this club. And the MOI gains on this are huge versus where we've been with the other Thai Ferry Woods. 12% higher than Sim 2 Thai and 18% higher in MOI than the Sim Thai. So a lot more stable on any kind of miss hit. It's gonna offer great performance, not only from a miss hit, but obviously the center face shots are gonna have that traditional classic high launch, low spin, just explosive performance. This will be the longest fairwood in our lineup. Extremely popular. It's also built a big following on tour as well. And I think this is gonna continue that legacy that we've seen with an even more forgiving, more playable club that's really gonna invite more golfers to play the tight fairway next year. One of the key things, again, to, to extend that playability as well is the face size of the club. So we've taken not a much bigger head, honestly. It's a 170 in the Sim 2 versus a 175 in the Stealth Plus. 
and the address area is only, it's less than 2% uh, bigger, but a significantly larger face now on the Stealth Plus. We've extended the face a little bit in the heel, extended a little bit in the toe, and that's really giving that golfer, again, more confidence. And you're gonna face size that's similar to the Max Fairwoods of Sim 2 and Sim, uh, now in this tie profile. So giving the player, again, that more confidence to hit a good shot with that larger face as well. So bringing it back to the lineup here, uh, we do have slightly different lofts in each of these, uh, but the, the key thing to, to take away here is really how they differ in launch and spin as well. So obviously, mid-launch, kind of low spin, these spin rates and launch conditions are gonna marry up really well with the driver. So the Stealth Plus is gonna be your mid-launch, your lowest spinning product, high launch in the Stealth, even higher launch in women's, kind of mid-low spin on this one, mid-spin on women's. Now, from a loft setting standpoint, we've kept very similar lofts to what we had on the Sim 2 lineup. Um, this one obviously has FCT, but 13.5 to 19 degree loft range there, uh, 15 to 24 degrees uh, in the Stealth. Women's comes with slightly weaker loft setting than we have in the Stealth. So again, helping that golfer hit a higher shot. Women's cosmetic will have that silver PVD on the sole and that slightly lighter gray paint on the crown. To round out the Meadowood family, we have this year's Stealth Rescue. Unprecedented tour adoption over the last two seasons sparked an evolution among tailor-made hybrids. Feedback from the world's best players fueled the refinements made to this year's rescue lineup. The Stealth Plus, Stealth, and Stealth Women's. All right, so moving on to the final category for 2022, the hybrid category. Now, we've had great success with this product line over the last couple of years, and we're looking to build on that into 2022. Now, the lineup is gonna look very familiar from the driver in the fairy woods, also completing the bag for the ladies uh, offering as well, uh, in that same vein of having a little bit more loft, a little bit easier launch with a touch of draw bias in that hybrid as well. So let's dive a little deeper into the look and the technologies in these clubs. The Stealth Plus is gonna be that more iron-like profile. So if you wanna think about it, it's more like a hybrid between a rescue, a standard rescue and a driving iron. It's gonna have the slightly thinner profile, that high toe look. Um, it's gonna have a more penetrating ball flight, uh, very workable club. And in the Stealth and Stealth Women's, you're gonna have that more traditional, small wood style profile. And for that reason, we've also added the lasered top line in both the Stealth and the Stealth Women's models. Both of these clubs will then feature more familiar head shape. We've tweaked the top line a little bit. We've also tweaked the entry level on the sole a little bit just to give it optimum playability. Still V-steel sole on all these fairways and rescues, of course. So how do we make that club even better? Obviously, the Stealth Rescue is building on where we were, the Sim Max and the Sim 2 Max. And how do we make that even better? Well, the secret really lies in adding the carbon crown to the product. Think about the fact that in a model like this, you're, you're replacing not titanium, but you're replacing steel. So the weight savings, even on a small carbon crown, can be significant. And it's taken us a little bit of time to get here because we wanted to make sure that the weight savings was significant enough for this to really make sense to do it. And so through our advanced bonding techniques that we've developed over the years, we've been able to make this ledge here even smaller and therefore maximize the weight savings. Now the crown is only three grams, and so that's really where the weight savings is, but typically you'd get these big ledges and your weight savings kind of go away. But we're actually able to save seven grams of weight in this uh, rescue uh, embodiment versus where we've been uh, with a traditional steel crown. Now, seven grams, to put that into context, if you remember the original M1 driver, we launched that with the carbon crown, that had a net savings of five grams. That means the difference between how do we made it a tie crown versus a carbon crown, that difference was five grams. This, on a much smaller footprint, is now seven grams of net savings, and we're putting that mass to really, really good use. We're able to put that mass back, low and create better launch conditions. So take a look here, you're gonna see that lower CG, obviously that carbon helps you lower the CG, but we're also able to move that CG back a little bit in the head as well. So not only are we creating more forgiveness, we're also creating better launch conditions. And on top of that, we're adding inverted cone technology to the face for the first time in these rescues. And that inverted cone technology, again, is gonna spread that COR over a bigger area, which is extremely helpful with these rescues, because again, they're smaller faces than obviously drivers or fairway wood. So having that bigger face is really gonna help the player uh, achieve better results. Obviously, like I mentioned before too, MOI is higher, 7% higher than Sim Max Rescue, which is a club that we already were pushing more forgiveness on, and 15% higher 
than that Sim Max rescue that took the world by storm. So think about how forgiving and easy to play this club is gonna be and still pushing the limits of distance and performance overall. One of the final things I do wanna talk about as it comes to technology and the difference between Sim uh, Stealth Plus and the Stealth Women's, it's really the technology that we utilize and the shaping that drives the performance. For example, in the Stealth Plus, we're looking for a club that's gonna be really fast, obviously, at the limit ball speed, but it's gonna be workable. It's gonna have a little bit more of an iron-like ball flight. So we're actually moving that CG uh, sort of in the middle of the club and a little bit higher than we are in the Stealth Women's. And so we're not using Carbon Crown in this because we don't need that weight savings from the top. We need that CG to be in a specific location to achieve perfect launch conditions. Stealth, Stealth Women's, obviously, we're looking at that more traditional performance of that very high launch, low spin, maximize your distance, make it very forgiving, make it curve very little in the air, make it really straight. And again, both of these obviously have twist face as well uh, to help with that. So really uh, a unique difference between these two clubs and we continue to build on that to make sure that players who are looking for different things uh, can achieve different launch conditions depending on which club they're choosing. So going back to the lineup here, um, again, very similar consistent message across the board with Stealth Plus, again, being your adjustable, it's got your FCT sleeve, comes in a range of slightly lower lofts, starting with the two at 17, all the way up to the four at 22. That's gonna, again, give you a range of, uh, you know, almost 15 degrees of loft, all the way up to almost 24 degrees of loft. So big range there, but that club is gonna have a little different shape. Now, one of the things to note about all these clubs is they all have high MOI. So even this product here in the Stealth Plus is gonna be very forgiving also on miss hits. Uh, stealth, Stealth Women's, now we're gonna talk about more distance, forgiveness, easy to play, easy, ease of launch. And again, similar to how we did on the driver, this is gonna be more of your low spin and a kind of a mid-low spin on women's. Every golf bag needs an old reliable. I always could count on you. The club you can count on to get the job done time and time again. <laughs> but if the same three wood has been in your bag for too long, it's probably more old than it is reliable. Five foot's in there. What do you do? What? That club's irreplaceable. It's 10 years old. They don't make it anymore. I'm so sorry. Introducing the brand new Stealth Fairway Woods and Hybrids from TaylorMade. With a 3D carbon crown and V-Steel sole that lowers CG and increases forgiveness, they're designed to be everyone's new reliable. That's what I'm talking about. The all-new Stealth Fairway Woods and Rescues. Only from TaylorMade. Last year, TaylorMade introduced the capback design in their Sim2 Max and Max OS irons. They utilize the concept of the hollow iron, but replacing the steel back with a low density polymer composite cap. TaylorMade engineers not only wanted to continue the momentum of capback design, but also accelerated to continue to push the limits of game improvement irons. Enter toe wrap construction. The toe wrap is an advanced engineering feat that shifts substantial mass from the extreme high toe of the head and repositions it low in the sole of the iron. The result is an increased launch angle producing a towering ball flight, long carry distances and heavy stopping power. All this and more in the new Stealth Iron. To tell us all about it, here is Matt Bovey, Head of Irons Product Creation at TaylorMade Golf. This time last year, I had the pleasure of debuting an all-new, revolutionary game improvement construction concept called Capback Design. Now, we took that Capback Design and we designed the Sim2 Max and Max OS around this concept. 
The catback design allowed us to really deliver more performance, better feel, and an incredible look that a traditional cavity back design simply can't. By creating this hollow space inside the head, the catback design really allowed us to step beyond the confines of where we've been the past decades with the cavity back construction and take things to the next level. Now, Sim 2 Max and Max OS clearly have been resonating with golfers in the marketplace since its debut. Here in the US, we've had the number one game improvement model since Catback debuted this spring. Not only have we had the number one model, but we've actually increased our market share by a full two and a half points in the game improvement iron space. That's roughly a 25% increase year on year. Certainly something to be proud of. But it's not just here in the US that we're seeing success. We're seeing it globally as well. In places like the UK and Japan, TaylorMade is the outright leader in the irons category as we continue to deliver performance across the board. When you add up all of those successes, you get one clear thing. TaylorMade is the global market leader in the irons category by a significant margin. Now, given the market feedback and how well the catback design is resonating with consumers and the performance it's providing, combined with the reignition of golf and the demand for product, it's no surprise that the iron category is up 40% year on year over 2020, which was already record breaking. As we look to the future, we know that we're gonna be able to continue to not just build off of this momentum, but accelerate it. We wanna to continue to push the limits of game improvement iron performance because the catback design has changed the way that golfers and fitters, retailers all think about game improvement irons and I know that it's going to change the way that the industry designs game improvement irons. So we need to keep pushing the envelope to continue to find that next level of performance. And when you think about designing performance into a game improvement iron specifically, we keep one thought at the forefront of our mind during product development. We want to place iron performance where the game improvement golfer needs it. That is one place on the iron face, lower. Now I've talked to you in the past about the impact distribution plots and statistically analyzing those distributions to determine where golfers need performance the most. And 72% of all shots happen at center face or lower. So if we're going to continue to drive performance lower on the club face, it means that we need to drive the center of gravity down in the club face because where the CG goes, the sweet spot follows. Let's take a look at the Sim 2 Max iron here and really take into account the catback design concept and how we may be able to further mass optimize this head. Inside R&D, our product engineers are like surgeons with scalpels, hunting for mass to be able to reposition uh, low in the club head and ultimately drive better performance for the golfer. And when we look at this club head here, you see one area in the high toe that clearly has a lot of trapped mass and it's also adjacent to that catback construction. So, as we think about this and we move into the future, we get to the all new Stealth Iron, which is coming out the spring of 2022. I can't tell you how much I've anxiously awaited this particular moment to be able to share these new designs with you all outside the walls of TaylorMade. Because what I'm about to show you is without question, the best game improvement iron that TaylorMade has ever created. Right away, you're gonna notice a striking design language here. The marketplace has continued to provide feedback that all players of all skill levels can appreciate a clean iron design that's both timeless and technical. That's exactly what the Stealth Iron embodies here. You see focused around this cap back design concept and bringing a design language to life that only this construction can. It has a very clean, again, technically elegant is the way I like to describe this iron. The design lines visually pull your eye out towards the toe, not to just showcase this new technology that I'm gonna dive into in just a second, but also the amount of mass that we're putting low and in the toe to really drive stability in this club head, both visually and from a performance spectrum. We use a tour satin finish to be able to really give this iron a serious tone uh, at the address view. And then of course, highlighting different surfaces with that mirror finish and chrome accents here really allows it to pop on the shelf. And I am 100% positive this design is going to draw golfers in. And it's gonna be the type of iron that they fall in love with before they ever even get a chance to hit it. Let's talk about some shaping changes coming in 2022, most notably around the sole. You may notice that that chamfer along the trailing edge that we've had in the past has been removed. We did that for two reasons. First, it gives the iron a completely different attitude without that feature. Second, we needed a place to be able to put more mass in the club head, 
uh, specifically down low to really help drive that center of gravity, which pairs nicely with this technology here that I'm about to dive into. The other critical shaping attributes like offset, blade length, top line width, all remain the same as Sim 2 Max as we continue to get good feedback as to players liking that shape from the address position. It's a fine line in the game improvement iron space. You can make something that looks too small and intimidating to hit, and it's easy to make it too large. We have really narrowed down that sweet spot. We've kept those attributes the same on purpose because we're finding a lot of success. Now, as you transfer over to the upper toe section of the Stealth Iron, you can see this all new technology that I wanna take a deeper dive into with you right now. It's called the Cap Back with Toe Wrap technology. You can see the cap back design now spilling over the edge here, illustrating how we're saving mass high in that toe section there with that lightweight polymer, and then we're moving it down low, but an absolutely beautiful angle, uh, an incredible looking iron, again, really visually showcasing that technology. But let's pull back the cap back design, look under the hood to have a better understanding of just how we're saving that mass. If I highlight this area in red here, you can see how we've really carved away a large chunk of mass. If you were to fill that in, it'd be roughly 10 grams of steel. We've repositioned mass from high in the club head down low into the sole, which translates to a low center of gravity, and that's critical for creating that high launch and forgiveness that's so important to game improvement irons. But it's about more than just performance. You also have to have great feel. Golfers of all skill levels can appreciate a good feeling shot. And that's where we've engineered in this toe rib design that I'm highlighting in gray to provide that structural rigidity to the top line to really give us that forged iron-like feel of impact that we know golfers of all skill levels can appreciate. Now let's zoom out here. Let's talk about the Stealth Iron Technology Package on a whole and the four key elements that are gonna allow us to continue to be industry leading from a performance perspective, and it all starts with the cap back construction. That multi-material cap back design is seven and a half times lighter than steel. This allows us to create a hollow space inside the club head while keeping that low center of gravity. We fully support that top line, which is again, key for feel, but by creating a hollow space inside the head, we allow that face to move freely we create additional flexibility and allow it to move very quickly and be fast. That fast and flexible face is driven by a 450 stainless steel. It's ultra thin and extremely flexible with the progressive inverted cone technology built in. Each face uniquely designed uh, for its role in the bag and provide as much forgiveness as possible. Now the face works in conjunction with the through slot speed pocket. The through slot speed pocket is tailor made patented technology allowing us to disconnect the face from the sole which generates so much more flexibility, low on the face specifically, which is critical for protecting that ball speed when players miss it low on the face. And as golfers, we all know if you miss an iron, you most commonly miss it a little thin, a couple grooves low, and the statistics are there to support that. But we can't just have ball speed. You gotta have more than that. You gotta have good launch conditions. Good launch conditions are what allow the golfer to get the ball airborne and find success. In order to do that, you gotta have the low center of gravity. Our technologies like the fluted hosel, the 360 undercut, and now the toe wrap portion of the cap back design reposition mass from high in the club head down low to really drive the center of gravity down, creating that high and forgiving launch. Last and certainly not least, you got all this flexibility, you got great launch, but you need to have something that's gonna damp out those vibrations, provide that forged iron-like feel. That's what the echo damping system is all about, using multiple contact points, all the way across the face from the heel to the toe, it dampens out vibrations quickly to be able to provide that crisp, solid contact as the ball explodes off the iron face. Let's talk about performance. All the technology is great, but what does it mean for golfers? We're gonna set that baseline with Sim 2 Max. Now as a reminder, the Sim 2 Max iron is industry leading from an all around performance perspective. So when the Stealth iron delivers a lower center of gravity, thanks to this toe wrap technology, and ultimately gives golfers a high launching ball flight in a head that's designed to maximize distance. I mean, you're talking incredible performance, again, driven by this concept of the cap back design, allowing us to really perform in ways that other traditional cavity backs simply can't. Okay, there you have it, the all new Stealth Iron, and it's really the ultimate game improvement iron coming out in spring of 2022. The all new cap back design with toe wrap technology, driving that performance, really providing golfers an unparalleled combination of distance, forgiveness, playability, and feel. That low center gravity, 
driving distance and launch, the echo damping system providing that forged iron-like feel, available in a four to pitching wedge with gap, sand, or lob. The components for stock builds are going to be regionally specific along with pricing, so make sure to talk to your tailor-made rep about that. And again, this is gonna be coming out in spring of 2022. Golf is an interesting game, but one of the most interesting things about it is that the better you hit the ball, the less golf you actually play. That's where the all new Stealth Irons from TaylorMade come in. They're engineered with a catback design and 3D toe wrap that increases distance and forgiveness to help you hit better shots more often. Because better shots more often means less shots and lower scores more often. Whoa! 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 Try Stealth Irons and see just how much fun it is to play less golf more often. For our final category tonight, here's a sneak peek at this year's lineup of putters. To tell us about this year's Spider lineup, here is Bill Price, Head of Putter and Wedge Product Creation. Innovation is a design that can change performance. And for years, the wireframe technology that was built by Spider has really created new innovation. We've created the number one selling models and innovation has looked like this. Stability that runs in the family, especially over the past six years. Spider Tour, Spider X, and Spider EX, but the future is about to change. We're talking about a new model called Spider GT. Spider GT is going to be the most angular spider we've ever created and the most stable spider we've ever had with a new modern wing construction similar to our other spider putters that we've had. And the whole thing about Spider GT is, is its new standard of terms of performance and exclusivity. Let's take a look. We start with the new mass pad that's on top. It's lightweight, it's only 143 grams. On the outside, we place these steel 90 gram weights on the outside to give us that nice perimeter and that nice MOI and that stability. We also add a tungsten ring in the back and that also adds to that stability story. So all the weight on the outside. One other change that we've done is we've added a new hosel. We have a new small slant. This new small slant is at 85 degrees, and that just allows the player to see a more vertical angle of the housel than anything we've ever had in the past. And again, this was all developed from a lot of input from the tour players. But the secret behind this is this new open wire frame construction that we have today. This new open frame technology delivers the best performance that we've had. In the past, we used to have a wire frame. Now we've got this open frame, as you can see from the sole design all the weight pushed to the outside. The secret to Spider GT is how we created this open frame technology. This open frame technology really unlocked all the weight in the middle. We moved all the weight to the outside with 41% on the outside and only 18% in the middle. The original Spider had 40% in the middle. So we've really unlocked a great MOI and stability story with Spider GT moving all the weight to the outside. And of course, we're gonna have a variety of different finish options. As you can see from the first slide, we had Spider GT in silver and black. We're gonna have an all matte black finish. We're gonna have a red black 
and of course a white blue option as well. Now the excitement, for, especially for Japan. What's happened in Japan has really been remarkable. Trust, as we talked about this past year, has been on fire in Japan. We've had numerous victories, 12 JLPGA victories. We've had one silver medal at the Olympics and a 35% user rate. That's a lot of that is all with our spider putters as well as the trust putters. The trust has been the number one selling model in Japan and we're excited to introduce to you a new Spider GT truss model. So there will be two different truss models, a truss heel and a truss center. And of course, the combination of the GT stability story along with our two contact points, less twisting, especially with our truss hosel, creates the ultimate of stability. So I'm excited to introduce to you the new Spider GT rollback. As you can tell from the name, the rollback has a nice curved top. This curved top creates alignment and it makes it easier to see our alignment, especially lining up with the golf ball, especially when we have this nice center stripe with the black. And this makes it easier if you happen to use an alignment on your golf ball. So the nice thing about roll top is that alignment. The roll top alignment has unique technologies, just like the GT. It has lightweight construction up front and a heavy tungsten ring and a circumference at the back end, which creates that nice stability story. This also has the same housels that GT has, and it also has that nice roll top, which is the same width as a golf ball. The nice thing, as you can tell, is it has that circumference, that weight that's surrounded on the backside that creates that nice, strong story of MOI. And it also has this nice trisole, which creates really preferred lies. So depending upon how you hold the putter, the, the trisole creates a nice stability story on the ground. As you can see, we're gonna have two different finish options, all silver and silver black. The next model is the Spider GT Notchback. Notchback is this classic spider, the most classic spider we've ever created, but in a package that creates high MOI and high stability. As you can see here, the technology has that nice thick top line. Some golfers prefer a thick top line. We provide it on the notch back. We also have the nice golf ball width that's out there in the cavity. But the big story for us is really the dual tungsten weights that are on the outside, both on the heel and the toe. It really creates massive, massive stability and MOI for us in a classic mid-size shape. This is the most MOI we've ever created in a classic midsize shaped spider. We also have the Spider GT Splitback. It's a familiar design that looks very similar to our GT, but we've added a few things on the technology side. We've added our golf ball width with our true path alignment in the middle, which makes it easier to line up and see our path to the hole. This also has the same hosel construction with a new vertical small slant. Spider GT Splitback has unique technology. It has the separate wings that are split, but it's manufactured from stainless steel, 303 stainless steel, to create a different sound and a different feel. This also has the same tungsten weights that you find in GT, which creates that back weight design that creates that stability and that high MOI. It is a classic shape that's, that's very familiar today in a lot of putters. And what you see today is that it has that same trisole throughout the whole line of all GTs. But what makes our GT splitback unique is that feel foam on the pockets. On the outside of those wings, we've added urethane to dampen that sound, especially with these type of designs that creates that nice sound and that nice crisp feel that you prefer from a putter. All of our spiders will have our stability and feel combination. So our stability and our fluted feel combination provides the best of stability matched with the best feel, especially with the flutes. So every GT putter will have our tailor-made fluted feel shaft. And then of course, Pure Roll 2 insert is going to deliver a new and improved spin across the face, not just the center, but across the face. The nice thing about Pure Roll is it does provide the best top spin and it's used by all the tour players on the TaylorMade staff. We firmed up the feel and created the sound because as golf balls are starting to get softer and softer, we want that sound to match the feel that you have off the putter and especially off the Pure Roll 2 insert. So you're gonna see a new firmer insert 
that's going to provide into improved topspin across the face. So the entire family, the GT family lineup, looks like this. We're going to have GT, Spider GT, Spider GT rollback, Spider GT notchback, and Spider GT splitback. All available at the same time March 4th. This is the complete family lineup of GT putters from Spider. Thank you for all your support, and I hope you enjoy the new Spider GT. There we have it. TaylorMade Golf's exciting product lineup for 2022. As our way of saying thank you for joining us tonight, we will be giving away some TaylorMade merchandise, including, of course, a brand new Stealth Driver. All you have to do is like this video, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and leave us a message on the comments below telling us what TaylorMade product for 2022 you are most excited about and why. Participants have a chance to win tailor-made stealth caps, limited edition putter covers, a SIM UDI or DHY, a Spider FCG putter, and of course a brand new stealth driver of their choice. This raffle is open to Philippine addresses only. Check the description below for the mechanics and for some more details. That wraps up tonight's event. We'd like to express our gratitude to everyone for taking your time to participate in another virtual launch. We look forward to seeing you again in person in our future launches and events. I'm sure you're all excited to get your hands on the newest clubs from TaylorMade. The Stealth Drivers, Fairways and Hybrids are available now at your favorite Paxport stores. Make sure to check our Facebook and Instagram accounts for updates, new product release dates, and demo schedules. We would like to thank you again for your continued support throughout the years. We are equally excited to cross a new start line together with you as we enter the age of the carbon wood. Stay safe everyone, and until next time, happy golfing. Carbon. For the last 14 billion years, carbon has been a driving force for just about everything in the universe. And now, it's a driving force in golf. Introducing Stealth, with a carbon face for better energy transfer and more ball speed. Welcome to the Carbonwood Age. TaylorMade.